Well, you know, some days when you sit there and you come with April Fools, it triggers a lot of people. I, and this one is no different. We have Reset Era completely coming unhinged over Mark Kern Grums on Twitter about saving the date for the upcoming wedding of Grums and Alyssa Macante of Kutaku. Now, before we fully get into the video, this is a hilarious, ridiculous video and i think you're going to probably enjoy this quite a bit so if you do subscribe to the channel we're growing thank you for all the new people that have subscribed to the channel and maybe i can earn that today maybe you can go and just click that little button that says subscribe today grums it's my pleasure to finally announce my wedding to kotaku senior editor amissa makante everyone is invited save the date there is no date and it's absolute hilarity this is an april fool's joke obviously to take a shot pock shot at um, uh, Alyssa mccante here she has been going on various various many different podcasts including cbc and spreading uh disinformation and misinformation about the whole situation of sweet baby ink so it's time to meme. It's the memes are here. And this is where it goes from here is the meme war has really started. And of course, it has to start on April Fool's Day. Out of all days, if if anybody thought this was actually legit, I gotta say it's it's not. It's not. It's just hilarity in itself. You know, of course, what happens is Alyssa goes out there and says, you gotta report it. You got to report an absolute joke. You know it's satire, you know it's a joke, and you know it's just a poke at this point because it's going to trigger everybody out there in the Twitterverse. And of course, now, you know, after five minutes of saying you got to report it, uh, five minutes later, save the date puts no date. So we're reporting this on inaccuracies that he didn't pick a date for you guys. You know, I, I can't wait to see this wedding. It's probably going to be a very epic wedding. Recently, we saw um, Anita Sarkeesian throw a wedding for herself for her birthday. That was kind of strange, not, not going to lie. But this one in particular is, it's something else. If you go over to Reset Error, they have a forum thread uh, called Gamergate 2.0 Chud's furious about consulting company named Sweet Baby Inc., which overviews scripts to make sure nothing offensive was written. Yes, sensitivity readers going through it and demanding changes to the scripts because they want to inject their own stuff here. And they seem to have nothing but absolute a deluge of things over Grums, over Mark Kern, all of them pretty much diving into how Mark Kern is. This one was yesterday with Bioware over Easter. Um, Bioware, you know, uh, what happened with Easter? I just sit there. I don't celebrate Easter. I spend it with family and that's what matters is spending with family. Make the day what it what it might be. I, I'm not religious in that sense, but I don't go out there trying to cause a a backlash that has it, it is ultimately what this is about this is where it starts grums she's just a little nervous it'll pass that was the response of her wanting this reported so of course this comes down here uh i decided to check this other thread out because i thought it, it was a thing had fallen out of discourse and i'm greeted with object horror the horror of making a joke in this point Jesus Christ, what a freak. Um, creepo weirdo Mark Kern. Uh, what an effing arsehole. Someone needs to clock him. They are threatening violence over this obvious joke at this point. Such bitterness and hate. Hey, well, I think that's what this thread is. This entire thread on Reset Error just is filled with nothing but toxic behavior. Starting to feel Blizzard toxicity excluded from guys like Kern. No, the guys like Kern are a little bit more down to earth and live in reality. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> dipshits morally grandstanding against trans people as a threat against women while posting genuinely psychotic stuff like that for the love of f 
it, it, it was a joke. It was a joke. Can't people take a joke? Jesus, at the end. Um, the replies he and others made on this post are even more disgusting if that was possible. It's like a competition on how low you can go with these people. No, it's how you drive a nail into, into a wedge and make sure the door stays open so threads like this continue to exist. Just so we can sit here and, and laugh about it. It's completely ridiculous. It's completely out to lunch the, the way this went down. Alyssa didn't need to pay any attention to it. That's generally what you want to do. But instead, here we are. You're feeding the trolls. And the trolls are going to come out and laugh at it. And just sit there and say, listen, it, it, it's an absolute joke. Get the joke. Move on with your day. Touch some grass. And maybe the rest of us will actually sit here and pretend like we like these types of things. It's, yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, Wikipedia says this guy's in his 50s. What a loser. I, I mean, who cares if he's in his 50s? What, 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 what kind of insult is this? Oh my God, he's in his 50s. I'm in my 40s. What, what do you want me to do? I'm going to sit here and laugh at this because it's absolutely hilarious how fast people are melting down over this. Would this be grounds for a restraining order? For what? For making a Twitter post? For making a joke on April Fool's Day? Every single person here just got taken for April Fools. They're the fools. They are the absolute most April Fools of the century right now. You know, what a horrendous ghoul of a man. Restraining orders would be, you know, should be updated to include tweets like and the like. This is generally dangerous behavior, and I feel it. Feel I would not feel safe at all, both from him and his supporters. <laughs> what do you want me to do? This is hilarity. This is hilarity. Yes, I am laughing at Reset Era, a forum place that I generally don't go to because this is what I, I, I'm generally greeted with is the absolute meltdowns that I see over a joke. He's also watching this thread because he's a little sad piece of crap. We're all watching this thread now. We're all watching this now because it's hilarity. It's hilarious how you can take a wooden spoon put it in a pot, stir it around, and say, it's a joke. Can, do you guys not get the joke? If you can't get the joke, then why, why bother having fun with it? It's, oh my God. I love April Fools. I really do. I am one that sits there and just revels in the jokes that come out, the ridiculousness that comes out with April Fools. It's absolutely satire. It's one of the best days uh, that I absolutely enjoy. Now, as a content creator, as a YouTuber, as someone that has to sit there and tread YouTube with April Fools, you know you have to take everything with a grain of salt. And if you don't, then you sit there and let it eat at you. And that is what this thread is. This thread is the angry person that sits there on the couch and they just sit, sit there and they get angrier and angrier and angrier. And it's going to cause an aneurysm. Lighten up. Just enjoy the day. It's April Fools. And with the current controversies that are going on, with this Gamergate and Sweet Baby Inc., this is probably one of the funniest things I have read to date. And I'm happy to cover this. Anyway, Reset Error, I, I, I hope you guys are doing well over there. Enjoy your forum because this, is, this has been a hilarity for everyone just to enjoy. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix. I'm signing off here. My name is Cinder Shadow. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.